Okay, so in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how to create a simple slideshow in Flash. The main skills we'll be using here is uh, motion tweening to make one image slide in uh, while the other one is sliding out. Okay, now first of all you must have had, you must have your images saved from the activity in last lesson. Um, I've resized all of my images to have a maximum height of 350 pixels while the, uh, the biggest width is 625. So you change the dimensions over here on the right hand side uh, so I'm going to change my height to be 350 and then the maximum width to be 625 like that so you can see the dimensions here have changed okay so I'm first of all I'm going to import the images I needed so over here on the file menu choose import to library okay and then we just need to go and choose the um, images that you've downloaded. Okay, so here's all of my images. You can actually select them all um, by dragging over the top and choosing open and then they should appear in the library. The library you can find over here on the right hand side and there's all of your images. So we're going to use these um, one at a time. And we're going to start with it doesn't really matter which one you start with i'm just going to start on the one with the top at the top of the list uh, over here on the right now to make things a little bit easier it would help to have uh, layers that correspond to the names of your images so the first one i'm going to use is called logo and i'm just going to drag the logo onto the stage like this okay i want it roughly centered i'm not too but too concerned about how central is at this stage okay and that's that's where I know I want my finishing position to be the starting position I actually want it to start off the screen over here so I'm just going to position over on the over on the left okay now before you motion to in anything you must turn it into a symbol so turn to turn something into a symbol click on it once and then press F8 that will give you the option uh, F8 symbol uh, convert the symbol yeah it's f8 and then uh, to, to give it a sensible name I'm just going to call it logo again click OK make sure here it says movie clip and then click OK once you turn it into a symbol the next thing we need to do is decide how long it's going to take to move from position 1 to position 2 so by default it's 24 frames per second okay so if you wanted to take one second you put your you choose the frame number 24 here um, I think one second is about right to slide in so I'm going to press um, F5 to put in a blank keyframe in that position um, next if you right click anywhere on this gray area here and choose create motion tween it's going to fill that area in blue and finally we just want to select frame 24 which is the last frame and then drag the image into the position you want it to be at at the end of the movement and you can see that's now how it looks like if you press enter you'll be able to get an idea of what that motion tween does you can also drag this here to get an idea as well okay so the next step is to make that image slide out of the screen in the same way that we made it slide in um, so we're just going to repeat that process now we've already turned it into a symbol so we don't need to do that again uh, and I want it to take another 24 frames so I'm going to select frame 48 insert a, a blank keyframe by pressing F5 and then I'm just going to drag that image to the right hand side and that's done so again we can get an idea of what it's doing Now a lot of um, slideshows actually have the image staying in one position for a certain amount of time. So I'm just going to go back um, a step uh, by undoing that Control and Z uh, two, three times to take us back to this space here. Okay, and instead of um, I'm going to put my keyframe back in, and instead of actually moving that image this time, I'm just going to right click on frame 48 and choose Insert Keyframe Position which is basically saying I want it to stay there for the, up until frame 48. And now I'm going to choose frame 72, which is another 24 frames. Press F5. 
five and then finally move that image move that image along to the right like that okay and then that shows you the first image complete okay so the second step now is to add the next um, image as part of the slideshow so I'm just going to add a new layer down here and this layer is going to be um, for the stadium so I'm going to add stadium in here okay and now the trick to start with is to get the stadium starting in the right place but what I don't want to do is mess up what I've already made here with the logo um, so I'm just going to lock the logo layer so that I can't affect that particular tween. Now I actually want the logo to uh, the stadium to start appearing when um, the the Glasgow logo starts to slide off the page, and that happens at that point there. So I'm going to click on that point on the stadium layer, make sure it's the right layer, and then insert a keyframe by pressing F6. Okay. A keyframe means you can add something to the layer in that position on the timeline now. So I'm going to take the stadium and I'm going to drag it over here. Okay, I'm going to position it where I need it to be. So uh, that looks about right there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now Again, I want this to take um, about a second, but the first thing to do is to turn it into a symbol. So F8, call it stadium. And right click on the gray area in the timeline and choose create motion tween. Okay, we want it to take 24 frames to, f to uh, slide in. So choose that frame and then drag it into the center of the screen. Now I think this one was my biggest image, so this is going to fill that section completely. Okay. Now just with the last like with the last image, I want it to stay there for one second. So I'm going to extend the timeline by pressing F5. Um, right click, insert keyframe, position. And then another 24 frames. And then drag it off the stage like that. So I've now got a whole timeline that does something like this. And that's it. All you need to do now is repeat that process for the next uh, three pictures. So I'd need a third layer called I think my next picture is called street logo okay and repeat that process I would need if we look at this part of the timeline here you can see it's on the the last third of the first layer there so this one the street logo is going to start there so just as a reminder f6 to insert a keyframe drag in your your picture to its starting position and repeat the process until you've got all five or six images on your slideshow um, moving in one after the other.